Hi there, this is David and welcome to my Halloween special, a crowdsourced video detailing my server's top 10 best JRPG undead party members. So together, my server and I have discussed all sorts of different job classes and ranked them together as a discord. Here, we're really trying to look at all the different undead characters, from vampires to ghosts to ghouls and zombies. How this works is, the members of my Discord server come together and they all submit the characters that they think best fit the category. Then we all voted them together and then the top 10 enter the video. So please, keep in mind that this isn't necessarily my opinion, but the opinion of the best Discord server around. So join and become part of the fun as the series continues throughout the rest of the year. Number 10, submitted by the Hoff and receiving 26 votes, is Lemon from Shining Force 2. The Kingdom of Galam, under a crazed king, dispatches an army led by the Honorable General Lemon. Upon discovering a dead messenger, he's told to bring war to the neighboring kingdom of Grand Seal. In the process, though, he's possessed by a demon, completely changing his personality and becoming the fierce Red Baron. After losing to the Shining Force, the demon is expelled from his body, leaving him with lasting effects, as well as terrible memories. As he realizes the part that he played in the senseless atrocities, he's compelled to take his own life, only to quickly realize that the demon turned him into an immortal vampire, forcing him to live with what he's done. He joins his former foes and vows to fight the Devil Army alongside the Shining Force to the bitter end to atone for his sins. Number 9 submitted by Professor Olsen and receiving 27 votes, is Sierra from Suikoden 2. This vampire was once the bearer of the Moon Rune, one of the 27 true runes, but with it came a terrible curse. That is, they become a vampire. But instead of becoming a bloodthirsty monster, she instead manages to master the rune's power. However, ever since the Necklord stole her rune, she's been on a quest to get it back and stop his rampage. Battle-wise, she's a strong mage character with affinities for dark, lightning, and wind, making her perfect in an offensive party. Even though she doesn't have direct access to the Moon Rune, she still has some remnants of its power, which is demonstrated in her Unite Servant attack, where she turns Bob and Bulgan into zombies, where they can now do quadruple the amount of weapon damage that they normally do. Number 8, submitted by Bluey the Deathclaw and receiving 27 votes, is Millennia from Grandia 2. Millennia is the physical manifestation of the wings of Valmar and the opposite of Elena in every sense of the word, both in story and gameplay. Elena is a white mage, while Millennia, a black mage. Elena is the pinnacle of patience and kindness. Millennia, on the other hand, is an impatient, haughty, and maniacal bitch on wheels. She cannot stand indecisiveness and will call you out if things don't go her way. More often than not, she will get out of hand and like fly off the handle, even putting lives at risk in the process. But deep down, she is a sensitive girl. She desires all the pieces of Valmar for ultimate power and will stop at nothing to get her hands on them. It's just a shame that she's not with you all the time because having the ultimate power on your side can just be a tad bit overpowered. Number 7, submitted by Citrus C and receiving 29 votes, is Mojo from Karno Cross. This most cheerful cursed object and living voodoo doll is arguably the most happy and upbeat character to join Surge's team. He literally has a smile plastered all over his face. He may be a straw man, but he is a walking, talking embodiment of mirth and merriment of the Halloween season, and it's his mission to come and spread the special brand of spooky joy all around the El Nido archipelago. He livens up the battlefield with his dance moves, lighting up with cartwheels, and he literally uses a high-stakes situation to pummel the opposition with his ultimate attack. And he does it all with good charm and laughter. He's living proof, well, kind of, that spooky doesn't have to mean scary. Number 6, submitted by Contigo and receiving 32 votes, is Yuri from the Shadow Heart series. Yuri, the protagonist of both games, is the ultimate Halloween character. He's tall, dark, brooding, and handsome, with brown hair, deep red eyes, 
and clad in shiny black armor, well confined with some belts. And his personality matches his exterior. He's snarky, brooding, and kind of frankly, a bit of a jerk. He's even introduced as simply the rude hero. Where we kick it up a notch from there is his ability as a Zahara Mixer. This power gives him the ability to fuse with the souls of the monsters that he's killed, vastly changing his stats, skills, and appearance. And if that isn't enough, he makes packs with monsters at a literal graveyard inside of his soul. Yuri proves himself as a true badass, powerful, demonic, and spooky presence throughout both of the Shadow Hearts games. Number 5, submitted by Elise and receiving 34 votes, is Bo from Paper Mario. In a series where normally ghosts are considered the enemy, it's nice to kind of turn the tables. This ghostly lady is a member of the Boo nobility, ruling over Forever Forest in Gusty Gulch. And she's one of the good guys. On both the field and in combat, she can temporarily grant Mario invisibility to avoid attacks with her out-of-sight ability. She can also rapidly smack enemies in combat, and, if upgraded, she can pull on a face that scares most mooks screaming, not to mention that when she smacks the crap out of her enemies by whacking them with her huge fan. Though, she might not have the raw power required to inflict damage against some of the endgame bosses, as with all of Mario's partners, she is essential in his quest. Number 4, sitting by Gravija and receiving 35 votes, is Skelly from Carno Cross. Born in the port town of Termina, Skelly left his family behind to join the circus. After being mysteriously killed, though, his bones were scattered all throughout the archipelago. Upon passing through Fossa Valley, Surge encounters Skelly's head, who gives him the task of reuniting all of his lost bones and reassembling him. Once he's put back together, Skelly becomes a playable party member, and as an innate black element character, he fits the theme to a T, and all of his signature moves are circus themed, where he can damage foes or heal himself while boosting his strength temporarily. And if there's anything more scary than skeletons, it's a skeleton dressed up as a clown. Number three, soon by Art Caravan and receiving 41 votes, is Vivian from Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This thick chick is one of the Shadow Sirens, a trio of sisters who are made up of, and can travel through, well, you guessed it, the shadows. All three use different elements of magic, with this little lady getting fire. However, after getting mistreated one too many times by her family, she joins a certain plumber in the creepy Twilight Town. In battle, she can punch targets in any position with her shade fist, burning the victim at the end of her turns. She can also use her veil ability both in and out of battle to hide herself and Mario from enemies, avoiding a powered-up attack or passing through obstacles. She's a cute witch made of darkness who goes from foe to invaluable friend after being shown the kindness that she so rightly deserves. Number 2. Submitted by Jeffrey K. and receiving 41 votes is Jack Skellington from the Kingdom Hearts series. You meet Jack in the first game, and he tags along as an offensive spellcaster. And he does appear again in Chain of Memories, but it isn't until the second game that Jack actually joins up as a spooky delight and kind of a mix between a mage, monk, and a dancer. He fights with his fists, and his abilities include an ice attack, bolts of sorrow, and blazing fury, where Jack charges forward with three blazing pumpkin heads. The whole area is extremely atmospheric and has an excellent rendition of This is Halloween, well in his home area. As a skeleton, he's tall and lean and hysterically only needs a speed walk to keep up while the rest of the party runs. His personality is pretty enthusiastic, but also oblivious to everything around him, which can lead to quite a bit of trouble. Number one, sooner by Gay Wife Guy and receiving 61 votes, is Vincent from Final Fantasy VII. An optional party member in the original Seven, and the protagonist of his own game, Dirge of Cerberus, your party meets this brooding hottie sleeping in a coffin in the basement of a derelict mansion where up in town some creepy goings-on are afoot. He joins the party to atone for his sins, singularly focused on stopping Sephiroth as well as Hojo. Despite his minimal involvement in the plot, this caped crusader quickly becomes a fan favorite, and the grotesque human experiments performed on him twist his body into monstrous forms for his limit breaks. While his ultimate form is becoming an embodiment of chaos himself, 
He can also transform to a Frankenstein-esque bruiser and even a Texas Chainsaw Massacre straight out of a 90s slasher flick. Well, that's it for the top 10 best JRPG undead party members as decided by my Discord server. We do have quite a few more honorable mentions, though. Asalius from Saga Frontier, Firebrand from the Gargoyles Quest series, Uber from Suikoden, Laharl and Valva Torres from the Disgaea series, Joachim from Shadow Hearts Covenant, Mysterion from South Park the Fractured Butthole, Brooke from One Piece Romance Dawn, Legis of the Seventh Saga, Stan from Oakage the Shadow King, Zero of Dragon Guard 3, Alush from Knights of Azure 2, Divold from Tactics Ogre, Graham of Final Fantasy Dimensions, Grave from Chaos Wars, Ote from Muramasa Rebirth, Sylvie from Unchained Blades, and Riku from Dark Half, as well as Lulu Lala from Generation of Chaos. Who are your favorite undead characters and why? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to take part in future class ranking videos, please come on over and join the Discord channel to make your voice be heard too. And as always, if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a happy Halloween.